Alright, so now a cool thing that you can do is use a symmetrical diminished scale when you're soloing. And we're going to take a look at that in a minute, but let's just talk about a symmetrical diminished scale. Basically, we have a half step, whole step scale. All right, and if we're in the key of C, so it would be C, D flat, E flat, E, F sharp, G, A, B flat. So it's an eight note scale, but it's very, very cool to use when you're playing on a blues, you know, just to throw it in. You know, sometimes I throw it in quite a bit, so it gets it sounding a little more jazzy. But it's a very interesting sound, and especially if you just use it tastefully, it can really spice up your playing. So let's take a listen to that now. All right, so let's take a closer look at this symmetrical diminished scale uh, using it in the blues. Um, what you're hearing right now is just a uh, vamp that's just playing the one chord, so we have like a C7 sort of sound going, just a bass player playing it. But um, and what we're going to do is we're going to play um, a symmetrical diminished scale over this. And we tried it in a couple of different ways, but let me just review the notes here. So we got C, just do this all on one string here. Uh, D flat, so half step. E flat, up a whole step. E up a half step. F sharp, up a whole step. G up a half step. A up a uh, whole step. E flat up a half step up to C. Alright, so basically what I did there is I went a half step, whole step scale. Alright, eight note scale. Um, now this can be a very cool scale to throw in in different places. And um, let me just, you know, demonstrate that for you for a second. Alright, so that's just a quick little thing there. I'm just playing the E flat. Um, e flat down to D. So, you know, you're going to have a lot of little places where you can do this kind of stuff. Like, for instance, you could go to A down to G down to G. All right, little places within a scale. Like, if you even put both those together. All, right. All kinds of really cool things. Um, now, another thing you could do is maybe do something like this. So that's an E flat up here and an A here and a G there. Now, um, as I might have mentioned, you can anything that you play um, with this scale, you can move it up in minor thirds. That's what's so cool here. So we could go. All right, so I just then just move it down a minor third. I could move it down another minor third. All right, very cool. Or you could do things like sequencing, okay? Um, and that's kind of cool because once you start into the pattern, it really starts to take over the sound. So you could go. All right, so I'm just going up three notes, back a note, up three notes, back a note, up three notes. All right. You could, I mean, there's so many different sequences, like I might have mentioned, my uh, Central Scales book has got a ton of them in there, so if you really want to get into this, a lot of stuff in there you could do. Um, but, you know, that's the, the basic thing behind doing this, and it uh, really just requires you to know the scale, obviously. And um, I would say, you know, just practicing the scale, three notes on every string, just to start with, just to get yourself going with it, and then start looking at some of these sequences, and I think you'll see it's very cool.